Fortune magazine unveiling this year's most powerful women in American business. The top five, the GM chair and CEO, Mary Barra, the UPS CEO, Carol Tomei, Accenture's chairman and CEO, Julie Sweet. Last year, she took the top spot. At number two, the city CEO, Jane Fraser. Earlier this year, she became the first woman to head a major U.S. bank. And topping the list, the CVS Health and, uh, I should say, the CVS Health president and CEO, Karen Lynch. CNBC's Seema Modi now. What, what catapulted Lynch to the top spot, Seema? Shep, yeah, she's a less familiar name in corporate America, but Fortune crediting Lynch's pandemic response from ramping up COVID testing and the rollout of the vaccine across the country, while also trying to disrupt an industry that is not known for being cutting edge. Now, a number of female leaders in healthcare made the list this year. Walgreens CEO Rosalind Brewer, healthcare insurance giant Anthem, saw its CEO at number seven. Pfizer's Angela Wang, who played a significant role in getting the company's vaccine to market and making it a financial success. Wang also known for promoting diversity and calling on lawmakers to address the rise of anti-Asian discrimination during the pandemic, Shep. Seema, still such a wide diversity gap, but there has been some progress in this year's list, right? Yeah, that's right. For the first time, two black female CEOs in the top 10, Brewer and Thesunder Brown Duckett, CEO of TIAA, an asset management firm, are two of four black female CEOs to ever lead a Fortune 500 company, both known for their accomplishments in their respective industries and their efforts to try to advance diversity and inclusion programs and hire more people of color paying it forward. Now, what's also interesting is that five of the women in the top 10 took their jobs during the pandemic to join a company in the midst of a crisis with little clarity on what could happen next. Fortune editor Kristen Bellstrom telling me that takes guts. Now, on that list, as you mentioned, Jane Fraser, who is currently the only female leading a big Wall Street bank, shortly after taking the job, Fraser set apart herself from the other big banks by touting a more flexible return to work plan, pushing for a hybrid solution, no Zoom Fridays, Fraser, just six months in the job and already finding ways to stand out. Shep. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.